is right now we'll make our way into the mid 80s later today. Lots of humidity returning back to the forecast. We'll get some fog and drizzle tomorrow. We'll watch for some storms Thursday night into Friday morning. Friday will be a warm day, but it cools down this weekend. 60s for highs, 40s for lows. Saturday morning is going to be chilly, guys. Ooh, you're right. So I got a great idea. Okay. You take the Oreos, you put them in a big bucket of milk, and then you put a little frother thing on there and, and make you like an Oreo drink. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Do you think that would work with that little thing? Yeah, better than a flurry. <laughs> what is a flurry? From DK. Oh. I mean, DQ. DQ? Okay. Well, I was thinking. Okay, what? got it. You never heard of DQ flurry? <laughs> That's a blizzard, isn't it? All, we have kids in, in is the that studio a right I thought now. a DQ was and a blizzard. From you. Vineyard, and they're all laughing because they know what DQ flurries are. Is it? A, I thought it was a blizzard. It's a McDonald's. Is it? A, am I getting them mixed up? Yeah, McDonald's is the flurry. D, we got to go. SA Live starts right now. You choose your adventure and let the fun begin here at Great Room Escape Can't Decide, where we're giving you a sneak peek today on SA Live. You also want to make sure that you try the Anti-Gravity House. It is a mixture of optical illusions plus a little bit of slantedness and the way that you are just so confused as you're walking, it's insane. We're going Texas tripping, where you can find this mind-boggling attraction and so many other fun things in this South Texas spot. You want to leave it on his bed like a nice big present. Cute and cuddly. And we're going to tell you about all the fun your kids can have at a spring break camp here at the SA Humane Society. Celebrating 10 years live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. We got some better than the Florida Blizzard, by the way, coming up. But oh, yeah. first. But first. Okay, you see it there on your screen. And you've probably seen those flying bugs that kind of look like big mosquitoes. And if you didn't know, they are actually called crane flies. One of the first to emerge in the spring, and they're very misunderstood. They don't bite you like mosquitoes. No. And they only live for three days, and they only have one mission, and you see it there on the screen, and their mission is to find love, and that's 72 hours. Oh, so maybe you think twice about smashing them, because all they're looking for is just a, you know, a date. <laughs> love, oh, I knew look it. at the two. Sorry. Hi. I knew he was going to sing. Yes, of good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Ostrahage. Okay, <laughs> let's kick things off as we are heading into spring and into spring break with one of the perfect treats. They taste as good as they yes. look. These eye-catching snacks have made this local shop take off on social media with nearly 100,000 followers on TikTok and for good reason. Yes, Lauren Cuevas, owner of Ice Ice Baby, is here to show us some of their most popular treats yes. that they will have that will have people, of course, lining I'm up. I'm gonna show you why we're so break. popular. Yes. yes. Okay. First of all, this, wow. All right. So a that little was bit created of, by who? This was actually created by a customer. It is a tamarindo apple with chamoy and lucas mm -hmm. and a fruit roll up pickle in the middle. Oh my yes. goodness gracious. And so created by one customer created and by named one by another. Yes, named by another customer. We put out a poll this weekend and asked the customers to create a name and we came up with Mansana Dili Siosa because of the pickle. Ah, yes. ah Dili Siosa. Yes. How right. do we get started here? So we're going to see how good you guys are at creating snacks and making them look pretty. So you're going to put apples that on bar the has side. To be set down I here. know. <laughs> so Let's this see is if our, would our make apple it. that we tried to Did I get that? Yeah, so yes, you're going to take it apple. out. Sorry. You're just yes. going to Yes. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, are about to get a little dirty though. <laughs> I know we forgot our gloves. I know. Oh well. Yeah. Okay, go for it. Okay. We can wash our hands after, it's yeah. okay. okay. Okay, so apple's on each end right yeah, here. Yeah, so you're going to put the apple on the end. I wrapped the fruit roll-up pickle for you guys because that's a little bit hard. Only okay. a professional can do it. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The, okay, the pickle, the middle, you're going to put that in the middle. The yes. whole thing? Yes, the just whole entire thing. Have y'all tried one before? No. No. To try one. They're it so looks good. good. They okay. are so good. Now. And then, so we customize everything. You guys are going to pick two fruits that you'd like, and you're going to put them on the sides. Okay. So go I'm on. I'm using my bare hands. You it's, pick your favorite. It's you pick your favorite. It's my treat. So yes. I'm going to put a little bit of this on here. Okay. And mango. Nice. Good Strawberries. Choice. Okay. And put them here. I like that. Okay. Yes. Oh, this looks okay. so good. And it's healthy, too, because there's fruit on there. So that, so we're safe, right? It's Absolutely. fruit. That's what I'm going to tell you. I mean, yeah. we're, we're safe. I mean, yeah. so, uh, <laughs> those are the lies I tell myself. Yes. I, exactly. So. <laughs> a little, little healthy-ish. And now okay. what? So you're going to top it with chamoy and Lucas. Ooh. Yes. Okay. So and we also have a special chamoy. It's pickled chamoy. Oh, yes. my Yes, that one's goodness. very sour. Okay. And is it incredibly popular? Very I'm popular. Assuming. Everybody okay. gets that one, Speaking yes. Speaking of popular, you are right next to your alma mater, 
High School, right? Yes. Our second location is right next to MacArthur High School, which I actually graduated from. Go Bramas. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so it's pretty cool to have it right next door because I can only imagine going to that school and having what we do now so easily accessible. That's just so cool. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad I'm able to give that to the students that are so, there. Pickle right. wrapped in a uh, fruit yes. roll, right? Okay. Do you want to try one too? Yeah. So wait, so what are we making next? <laughs> so the next one we're going to make is mm. this all fruit mango nada. Okay. You guys are going to try to replicate that. All right, here we go. It Here's has, a it's a fruit cup on top of a mango nada. Yes. Whoa. So you're just going to go ahead Mama, and just pick cool. fruits. Pick fruits. And uh, put them on top. We normally do three of each, but you can put whatever you like more. Okay. Yes. Oh, actually, okay. how you do it? Okay. okay. Yes. How do you come up with all your different ideas and so flavors? So a lot and of the times, honestly, it's the customers. We're uh, we're very customizable. So when you come in, you tell me what toppings you want, and I'm in charge of making it look pretty and nice, and everything tastes good. So okay. it's a, a bonus. Yes. And then we put this. It's like a little yes. flower almost, blooming for I, spring. I would say it's frozen art. It's everything is so pretty. That's why we're so popular on Instagram. Everything and is. Creative. And then more of this on top? Yes, Chamoy and Lucas. And folks okay. can come in and create their own, right? Yeah. So actually, so we have um, about, I'd say, I think we have about 10 different flavors that we offer. Mm -hmm. This is our watermelon one. And for summer, what a lot of people do is they'll come and put their fresh fruit on top and then throw some lime over it. So what we do is really popular is watermelon and cucumber. So you're gonna Ooh. do watermelon on one side and then you're gonna do cucumber. Okay. So yes. Cucumber on the other. Okay. Yes. And besides, Next to MacArthur High School, you said you're out there on Bandera? Yes, on Bandera, right inside Loop 10. Okay. Yes, that was our first location. Very busy, very popular. <laughs> that was funny, yeah. <laughs> but, but, but yeah. Wait, here you can make it a little more fancy. Throw in some belts right there. Oh, there like, we go. Throw some Takis. There a we lot go. of customers love Takis. Now and we're cooking. Well, we, no, they're yes. great. I've been, I've been sampling them, uh, you know, before we even started. I don't have a lime squeezer, but we can uh -huh. just like I'll throw some a little lime, bit of lime over it. Yeah. Make yeah. it like a little more sour and yes. So what's your favorite item on the menu? Ooh, okay. I think right now my favorite is this one. Mm, the yes. one created by a customer. Yes. My best friend's favorite too. She always tells me, she's like, I'm thinking about that apple. I'm the like, mango, me not too, a delicious. yes. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm a big fan of all the spicy. Mm -hmm. It's so good. That, oh, yes. The, the sour, the sweet, all the yeah, tangy it, in there. It right? has everything in it that you it want. Does. Yes. Okay. And it's fruit, so it's healthy, so. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> For more information on Ice Ice Baby, just snap that QR code on your screen or click on the, uh, head to our website and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Okay, one of the toppings uh -huh. that you can get, of course, are the one, the only original sandwich cookie, the Oreo. So, question is, uh -huh. how do you eat it? I like to dip it in, in milk. In just milk. really do quick because I don't, I don't want it to get sucky. But like David was talking about, do mm -hmm. you dip it whole? Yeah, no, I'll okay. go like this. And it's like literally, <laughs> watch. If you that. don't have milk, if there was milk here, that that's my okay. technique. If you don't right have there. milk, do you ever <laughs> unscrew them? Oh, um, not really. Oh, wow. is that that's what you do? Wow. Okay. You do you? Oh. Okay. I like to do this. Okay. If there was yeah. only milk. <laughs> We've got something really good that you could dip for us, and that's I coming know. up a little bit later right, on. So. so scan that QR code, weigh in and let us know, because it is National, right? National Oreo Day? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Uh, you may see your answer a little later in the show. All right. Moving on. Looking for some fun indoor adventures that can challenge you and keep you on your toes? How about an escape room that can transform you into a bomb squad or send you on a creepy train ride that will never end if you don't solve the puzzles? These are just a couple of the fun themes at Great Room Escape located inside the 13th floor right downtown and our Jen Tobias Trusky tries to escape. Mm -hmm. It's a fun time for the entire family. We're at Great Room Escape. They have several different themes located in the historic 13th floor building. So of course, they have a spooky room too, and we are getting a sneak peek. Can you take a guess what's involved? Okay, I'm already getting spooky vibes in this room, and I'm joined here by Walter. Hello. Greetings, my dear. Hi. Hello. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. I always love having visitors around here. Well, you gotta tell me, what room are we in right now? So, this is my lovely zombie escape room. Ooh. Indeed. See, here, you have to prove that you're smart enough to get out of here, at least to become food for young Master Phineas. Isn't that right, Phineas? <laughs> 
goodness. Okay, so wait, can he get closer to us if we don't do the right thing? Every once in a while, he might get a little closer, but nothing you can't handle, I suppose. Okay, and what can people expect when they come in here? They have to solve different things? Or? Of course, solving yes. different puzzles, different riddles, different uh -huh. clues, things like that in order to make their escape. Okay, and will they be able to see you here, Walter? Of course, me and many other butlers and or maids throughout the entire game. And this is one of how many rooms here? Uh, one of five rooms that we have currently. Wow. Okay, and then we're gonna go take a look at a few others? Yes, indeed, yes we are. Okay, we can't give away too much, okay? But I am scared, I will tell you, already. Okay, wait, is he still back there? Uh, perhaps he is. Are you still back there, Phineas? <laughs> let's go, let's go to the next room. Come, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, where are we now, Walter? This is Countdown. Okay. See, here you must get our defense system back up and running and save the world from a nuclear strike. Oh my goodness, okay, we better get going. Yeah, this is cool. Yes. Okay. Walter, what is going on in uh, this room? I believe this is a, wow. the bomb squad. Uh, I, I believe you have to disarm this bomb here to oh, no. uh, save ourselves. Okay. I don't like this. Oh, better get started. Uh, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Huh. Oh, what is going on in here, Walter? Uh, I believe this is Anubis, an, an Egyptian oh. tomb. Oh. How do we get out of this tomb? I believe you must break the Pharaoh's curse and then we can make our escape. All right, let's get started. Let's get started, yes. I'm gonna go this way, this I'll way, this, this way. way, yes, yes. Wait, what? Where are we? Oh. Walter, how'd you get in here? Well, it took you long enough to find me. Where are we? Uh, I believe this is the Orient Express. It's a, a lovely murder mystery. How exciting, I love mysteries. Okay, but don't be running away from me anymore. Okay, let's go. Walter, I told you to keep up. I know, dear, I know. But thankfully, this is our final stop, oh, I believe. Oh, good, good. Okay, tell me about this place. Subway? Wait, where are we? Yes, this is the terminal. It's oh. a, uh, a soon-to-be room coming in the summer, but not much can be said about it yet. It's a, a mystery. Oh, we're getting a little sneak peek. Well, thank you so much for taking me through all these adventures. Okay, pleasure, now are yes. we far enough away from the zombie? That's what my concern is right now. I believe so, yes. Okay, great. Well, if you want to come check it out, you can head to our website. Thank you, Walter. You can head to our website, essaylive.com. Click the As Seen on SA Live tab or scan that QR code on your screen. Adventure awaits you here at the Great Room Escape. Have we seen her since she, did she escape finally? Maybe. I don't know. She wasn't, where the has she been? Was she there today? I don't think so. Hmm. We should check on her. Okay. Let's check on her. Jen? <laughs> all right, look. All right, so don't forget, you can get 20% off at Great Room Escape. She's going to drop in from the ceiling. <laughs> okay, my splatter art and class axe throwing, all three are located inside the 13th floor Haunted House Historic Building. We're going to take you inside my splatter art next week. Yes, and if you want to check out our visit to Class Axe, this segment is on the website right now. Just scan the QR code on your screen. Go to salive.com. we got lots of great ideas for spring break That's so fun. cool that those targets move. I like, know. Oh, it's so cool. Nothing's more satisfying than getting that axe to stick right in there, too. I worry about you. I know. Okay, no need to pack your bags for this Texas trippin'. We discovered nearly a dozen fun adventures in one South Texas spot. Find out where it's all happening for spring break. Still ahead. And it is time for your children to step into the spotlight and get theatrical. Let their inner thespian come out. How your children can learn acting skills in this one-of-a-kind spring break camp. To be or not to be, SA Live continues. Anybody have a cane? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to SA Live. The Public Theater of San Antonio at San Pedro Playhouse produces some quality, wonderful performances, some of the most well-known and beloved stage productions, and getting ready to share their talents with the young budding thespians. Yes. Notice how I emote. You're such a thespian. Okay, Christina Casella, Managing Director of the Public Theater of San Antonio, is here to talk about their spring break camps, because once a thespian, always, always a, a thespian, oh, yes, right? Yes, yes. All right, tell us all about spring break. 
theater. Yes, camp. absolutely. Well, we've got a camp next week. It's going to be a ton of fun. It's with a partner organization called Yippee Coyote. It's spring break play. And it's a little bit of everything that theater has to offer. There's some DIY, DIY prop making, getting on stage, and it all culminates in a really cool, fun, student-led performance at the end of the week. So it's going to oh, be a ton of fun. I remember that. My son did that years ago. Yes, and he, he did. absolutely loved it. Yes, indeed. <laughs> okay, yes. so what are some of the other activities? Yeah, so we have to? spring break camp, mm -hmm. but we also have summer camp. Okay. And we love to spotlight some of the shows that we're doing. So, so this summer we're doing Wizard of Oz. Okay. So we're going to have a Wizard of Oz camp, a Wicked camp, tons of fun. But we also have, just like next week, a show in a box, a bite-sized theater camp where you get to find out a little bit of everything from costumes to sets, everything that you can figure out from theater. Because there's experience. so many different aspects of the theater as yeah. well. And the educational style that you have. Absolutely, yeah. It's not just about preparing students for the stage. It's about preparing them for life, mm -hmm. right? Some of the skills that you learn in theater, as you all well mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. right, easily translate to life, public speaking, getting up in front of a crowd. So we're really trying to shape San Antonio students to be awesome humans as well as awesome performers. All right, speaking of, of performers, I won't say awesome. Um, oh, yes, yeah, so I would, I would. <laughs> speaking of performers, I, we're going we're gonna to try out some exercises, right? Yes, absolutely. So <laughs> camp, we have to warm up every okay. morning, right? Okay. So it's very important. So we've got a couple different kinds of warm-ups. We've got some vocal warm-ups, oh, no. but then we also have some facial and some body warm-ups. Okay, I know, okay. Okay. I'm so excited. <laughs> so because we've got Wizard of Oz coming up this summer and we've got a Wizard of Oz camp, we are going to do a vocal warm-up that is very much like that. So we're gonna start nice and low and deep-seated in our voice and be like the lion in the Wizard oh, of Oz. Get you show off. All right, so you're gonna listen to me first. We're gonna do put them up, put them up. Go for put him it. Up, put them up. Nice. Oh, nice. Put them up. Put them up. <laughs> all right, this time we'll okay. do it all together. The okay. next one, the Wicked Witch, right? Okay. That's really warming up our nasal resonators. So we're going to do, I'll get you, my pretty. Ready? I'll get you, my pretty. Good. <laughs> oh, I love that. That was and very that good. And that wasn't acting, so. <laughs> and and says I cackle. Last but <laughs> certainly not least, Dorothy, a nice, lovely, there's no place like home. Nice and loud. There's no place like home. We don't need oh, a close-up of me on this one. <laughs> anyway, thank you. <laughs> All right, so now your voices are nice and warm. We're going to warm up our faces. We're going to warm up our bodies. And we're going to do an emotion exercise. So I'm going to call out an emotion to you. And I want to see you completely act it out. I want to see it on your face. I want to see it on your body. Can you do it? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. We'll start easy. I'll do okay. it with you. I'll do okay. it with I'm you. Don't shy. All right, ready? Okay. We're going to start with excited. <gasps> Yes, yes, good. Take it down with disappointed. Oh, no, no. A little bit more difficult. Envy, envious. Ooh, oh, okay. I'm, I'm not trying to make y'all jealous, I'll tell you that. What about one for you, Mike? Uh -oh. Throw one out for us. Um, love. Oh, oh love, love. Perfect. Well, now y'all are all warmed up. Y'all are ready to take up. camp at the Playhouse. <laughs> so how can families sign up? Absolutely. So if you go to our website, thepublicessay.org, we've got all of our spring break and summer camps ready to go. And we'd love to have your students with us at the theater. It is great. And, and St. Patrick Playhouse is just such a great old yes. theater, too. Yes. Historic, love almost love 100 love years old. Wow. All yep. right. All right. And spring performance coming up soon. Did we, we do. It? We do. We have a spring performance mm -hmm. in April, April 9th through the 14th. It's the return of Shakespeare in the Park with oh, Midsummer so Sueno, a beautiful production that is made just for San Antonio. So come on out free for everyone 18 and under. Thanks to some amazing sponsors. Christina, thank you so much. Good oh to my see gosh, you. Thank yes. you guys so much for having me. For more information on the Public Theater of San Antonio just uh, and their spring break camp, just snap that QR code on your screen or head to our website. You know what to do. All right, ways to cook and serve Mexican food at home. The way is done. We're going to be making Mexican hot chocolate with an award-winning merchant and entrepreneur. And meet this adorable, adoptable dog. And we're going to tell you all about a camp they're having there at the San Antonio Humane Society that your kids 
We'll have a blast there. Well, if that doesn't make you smile, need something else to smile about, here's a cute video we found. This has to be one of the most adorable bearded dragons on the internet. Oh my Lenny gosh. the Lizard. Yep, that's his name. He's got millions of views on Instagram. His page, you can find him in all sorts of situations. Watch him just munch down on bugs. Enjoy your lunch while you're watching that. And if you'd like to see more of his videos, check out our Instagram page, SA Live KSAT. We've shared a fun account. There's a lot more SA Live on the way. Is he doubling down there in blackjack? Is that what he's doing? Sure is. Okay. All right. Your kids should spend spring break with the cutest and cuddliest friends here at the San Antonio Humane Society. And Jenna Elizondo, Humane Education Supervisor, is here to show us a little bit of what to expect from their spring break camp. Hi! Yes, thank you for coming. We are so excited to share all about Camp Humane. It's one of our most popular things that we have here at our shelter. This spring break, so March 11th through 15th, we're having third through eighth graders come out and they're gonna have a chance to do some arts and crafts. They're gonna do some helping around the shelter, making our pets feel nice and comfortable um, as they arrive here to our shelter. And of course, what is the purpose of Camp Humane? Our mission is education uh, here at the animal shelter and throughout our program is, of course, we wanna be humane and be their voice. So we wanna instill compassion and empathy and respect, not only for the pets that are here, but for each other and for the environment. And you've even got activities. You mentioned some of the things that the, the third through, uh, is it fifth grade or eighth graders? So it's gonna be third through fifth, fifth. and then we have a second session uh -huh. later in spring break for sixth through eighth sixth graders. Through eighth. Okay, and so what are some of the activities that can be done? Of course, so for our third through fifth, it's all about barks and crafts, right? Mm -hmm. Barks and crafts. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we're gonna take an opportunity to get creative and draw as much attention as we can to some of our, our pet residents, especially those who've been here for a while. That could be anything from making adoption posters that we can hang throughout our shelter, even making some fancy enrichment like our friend over here, um, where we can go and pass that out across the shelter to all of our pets. We may even decorate a cone of shame or two. I uh, love this story, <laughs> nice. Stop it, you guys. Whatever we can do to help them feel more comfortable. Nobody likes or enjoys wearing the cone, right? But sometimes we have to, so if we can spruce it up, add a little flavor and fun, we would love to do it. All right, okay, and we've got her trying out like one of the activities, as you've mentioned. And all these activities, they have a purpose, right, with teaching the campers of something. Of course. So, you know, in addition to the values of our program, you know, huma uh, being humane and being compassionate, we want to help teach them things like being responsible pet owners, how to observe pet behavior and um, be better stewards and voices for the pets in their care or even in our communities. So throughout these activities we're going to be focusing on different things like that, how uh, to observe whether a dog's feeling stressed or happy or same with a cat. Um, <laughs> and then of course we may also learn some other things about maybe how to train your dog or cat or um, we we'll might work on some reading skills while they're out there. We really want to just help influence those young individuals as much as we can. So if families want to sign up, what do they need to do? Of course, so you can visit us on our website, sahumane.org slash camphumane, and they can visit us there for additional information such as dates, pricing, um, and for registration. Okay, and you have a deal for folks watching right now. We do, I'm so excited. Our SA Live friends um, have a special opportunity to come and save 20% off of Camp Humane. So they need to register by Friday, March 8th, at 11.59 p.m. And if they can do that uh, using the coupon code SALIVE, all one word, um, they can save 20% on their camp registration. All right, we have a pet here looking for a forever home and Hannah Barrera, enrichment and training supervisor here joins me. Who have we got? This is Sweetheart. She is a two-year-old, uh, I believe shepherd mix. Mm -hmm. um, she is like her name implies a total sweetheart. Uh, she gets along with just around every person, every dog. She's a playgroup superstar. <laughs> She's perfect. Okay, so if somebody <laughs> wants to adopt, what do they need to do? Um, they can come over and visit or they can head to our website, sahumane.org, and they can fill out an application there. All right, and for more information on the San Antonio Humane Society, all you have to do is scan that QR code on your screen or head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.
Well, still ahead, we all love good Mexican hot chocolate. Nothing like this flavor, but to really make it authentic, you need one of these. We will explain where you can get it and what the score coming up on SA Live. SA Live. Well, her company and its products have been featured in the New York Times, Martha Stewart Living, Food and Wine Magazine, Food Networks, Iron Chef America, you know, just to name a few. Wow. <laughs> Joining us now is Isela Hernandez, founder and president of Hernan, and this is a premium brand of Mexican uh, Cul culinary, culinary products, items, right? Yeah. Correct, yes. Okay. All and made in Mexico. You feature especially chocolate and Mexican hot chocolate, right? Correct, yes. So we have a line of Mexican kitchenware as well as specialty foods, which includes Mexican hot chocolate and moles. And chocolate, hot chocolate is not necessarily a treat, but I mean, it really had significance, especially way back when, right? Correct, yes. The ancient indigenous uh, Mexican people used to have chocolate at really special uh, occasions, and it was very much reserved for the upper classes and royalty. It wasn't readily available back then to, to just anyone. And the thing that a lot of people may not know is that chocolate, that's where it comes from. Correct. Yeah. Uh, cacao is uh, grown in southern Mexico and what is now uh, present day Guatemala. And so the trees are originally from there and the indigenous Mexican people are the ones that cultivated it to use in their chocolate drinks. All okay. right. And so what is he holding right here? He is holding a molinillo, which is a traditional kitchen tool that almost every kitchen in Mexico has. And that's a Mexican hot chocolate frother. So you put it in here, and not only does this act like a, a little bit of a pestle to break up the chocolate, mm -hmm. and then you just take it and do this? Yes, yes. And that uh, spinning motion will aerate the liquid. So as you see, and as you can kind of hear, the rings are sort of um, you know, allowing that motion to aerate the liquid. Okay. And from there, you'll be able to get a lot of foam. Yeah, there we go. A little hard to see. And there's a significance to that as well, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so in that, uh, in those bubbles, you can really smell all the ingredients that are in your chocolate drink. Oh, so in wow. this case, yes, mm -hmm. ours has cacao and cinnamon, so you can really enjoy that whole thing. It's a whole mm -hmm. sensory experience, uh, very similar to the way we enjoy uh, wine today. Ah, okay. And the reason for the froth and letting that all out also had another big significance too, right? Yes. Yeah, so the indigenous Mexican people believe that the spirit of their drinks was in the froth. So it was really important to have uh, froth on top of your uh, chocolate drinks. Ooh, that's yeah. always so good. All right, <clears throat> chocolate's also used in mole too, right? Correct. So um, in Mexico, there's hundreds of different kinds of moles, but the one that's the most well-known outside of Mexico is mole poblano because cacao is one of the ingredients. Right. And so. And so what sets your mole apart? So our mole poblano is a true mole poblano. It has 28 different ingredients. So each ingredient has to be roasted, toasted, fried, and then ground. And then some come together and then others and others until they all finally come together to make this beautiful mole. So it's truly a labor of love. And when you buy it, just add a little bit of water and then it goes on anything, especially chicken yes. is one of the best things, right? So what's special about ours is that we've taken that laborious process and made it into a few minutes. And right. so ours is a paste that looks like this and it comes in the jar and all you do is just put it in your saucepan. And we're using a cazuela today, which by the way, we also sell in the saucepan. You add water or stock. And then you can just you know stir for a couple minutes, and after a few minutes of stirring over medium heat, mm -hmm. you get a beautiful wow. velvety um, sauce. And all of these, the the cookware and items, and the moles and the chocolate, you can find them online, but also at some local stores too, right? Correct. You can find them on our website, which is ernanmexico.com, mm -hmm. and it's also sold locally at specialty stores like Central Market, Royal Blue Grocery, um, and all around the country, we have specialty and grocery stores that take, that also sell them. And even if you don't cook with them, they're just cool looking too. So. <laughs> well, and that mole yes. that can be used for Lent, right? Yes, mm -hmm. for Lent, we really encourage people to try it over fish or uh, grilled vegetables. And there's the deal if you head to the website, 15% off if you use the code right there, right? In honor of Women's History Month. Correct, yes. Okay. Gonna, thank you very much. All right, thank for more you. information on Hernan Mexican culinary products, just snap that QR code on your screen and go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, from Wondrous Caves, Exotic Animals, Helicopter Tours, and go Glow Kayaking. There's so many adventures you can find in one South Texas town. Closer than you may think, we go Texas tripping with a travel expert next. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, she's been named the number one Texas travel influencer, Jessica Serna, also known on social media as My Curly Adventures, and she is taking us Texas tripping. 
Yeah, and one Texas city has everything you need for a once in a lifetime vacation. And she and her husband check out nearly a dozen fun things to do just up the road in San Marcos. Hey y'all, this is Ishmael and just get back at it for another adventure. This time we are in San Marcos, Texas. This is way more than a college town. So get ready for a lot of water and so much excitement. We are experiencing Wonderworld Cave. This place has multiple things. Of course they have the cave where you're actually walking along the bus on a spotlight. This is a dry cave. So a lot of caves in Texas you're not allowed to touch for keeping them preserved. This one you're actually allowed to you get to hear a lot of cool stories, do a little bit of exploring, and we're gonna tell the bunch to all the colors lights they have but once you finish that you also want to make sure that you try the anti-gravity house it is a mixture of optical illusions plus a little bit of slantedness and the way that you are just so confused as you're walking it's insane as part of wonderworld you can also take a train ride through their texas wildlife petting park to see different animals including lots of deer try to go early in the morning when they are most hungry for the best interaction we loved how sweet the deer were and definitely managed to get lots of slobber on us. This is a very family-friendly activity. Whether you're celebrating a special occasion or simply looking for an unforgettable experience, Leading Edge Helicopter Tour promises stunning views of San Marcos and beyond. The tours start as low as $20 and they can even go as far as Canyon Lake. The nature and water at the Meadow Center is protected in order to preserve the wildlife. However, they do offer certain tours, including scuba diving and snorkeling tours, where you can swim through the crystal clear water, learning about the species that live there, and about how vital this river is to our state. The water is chilly, but luckily they provide a wetsuit. Yeah. It's local, this is definitely a must do bucket yeah. list item. For sure, because that. that was pretty fun. Science Club Tube Rental offers a one hour float down the San Marcos River with all the access to tubes, a shuttle service, and the opportunity to explore a little island before you reach Rio Vista Park. There's even a rope swing and a bridge you can walk across the river on or propel yourself into the water. One of the most magical experiences you can have in San Marcos is a 75 minute tour of the river where you can have the chance to see beavers, raccoons, possums, deer, bats, and plenty of fish. We couldn't believe all the animals we encountered and the colorful lights were a unique addition to make the tour extra exciting. Hayes County Barbecue is one of the top barbecue spots in all of Texas. Getting to hold one of their giant briskets and go behind the scenes really made it special. Go on a Saturday for their massive beef ribs and get some of their honey sriracha sauce to dip some of the chicken in. Gil's Broiler is the go-to spot for Humansky Roll, which is a light and fluffy cinnamon roll covered in an irresistibly sweet glaze that San Marcos is known for. And that's a wrap of our tour of San Marcos. Stay tuned for our next curly adventure around Texas coming soon. Well, imagine that cute little face in your home, your new best friend. We're gonna tell you where you might be able to uh, buy or adopt a little reptile. Take it home. Well, do you have room in your heart for a cute, loving little face like that? You know, the cute ones aren't just the dogs and the cats. And some of these uh, folks are looking for forever families. Holly Fletcher, owner of Fletcher Reptile Rescue, is here to tell us about some of her animal friends and a really big event coming up. First of all, good to see you. Thank hi, you. Hi, Mike. How are you? All right. Well, let's uh, not ignore the, uh, the star of the show right here. Who is this? This is Littlefoot. She is a 15-year-old cicada tortoise or African spurt thigh tortoise. Now, how much bigger? Because everybody thinks about tortoises and they think about, like, Galapagos tortoises. She will be about say about 100 pounds before she's done. Okay, mm -hmm. so a lot of grown yes, to do. Yes, yeah, she'll live about 30 to 50 years. Oh, if so not, not... If not, uh, some, the oldest one was 80 years. Yeah. Okay. So, and where do they come from again? Africa? Africa, yep. Africa? Okay, what do they eat? Just um, So their mouth is like um, like leather, so they can eat prickly pear, cactus pads, oh. but they also like their dark greens and their melons. It's like we're staring at each other. <laughs> okay. And then the one in the cage right here, because this one from Africa, but this is native species to Texas. Texas, and, yes. and really kind of special, I yes. guess you could say, right? Texas tortoise or um, gopher berlandry. Um, so they are native to Texas, and um, they are... 
uh, uh, state protected and or threatened. So, so if you were to find one of these things and if you have it in your possession, you got to call somebody. You got to call, call Texas official. Parks and Wildlife or the wildlife uh, place here in, uh, in San Antonio and or anywhere in Texas. Okay, and this is strictly for educational purposes. Mm -hmm. And with the uh, San Antonio Reptile Show coming up, um, you're going to have some of these for educational purposes mm -hmm. also to for adopt. folks to maybe buy or mm -hmm. adopt. Yep, yes sir. Okay, can you adopt? What is that? This is a blue tongue skink. This is Littlefoot also. <laughs> I didn't name her. <laughs> um, so she's a blue tongue skink. She's a full adult. Um, this one you can uh, adopt also. These ones you can get at uh, any pet store. And you're a rescue because a lot of times people think, oh, this is so cute, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get this little turtle. And then it's like, okay, this thing's gonna live 30, 50 years. Yeah. And you said even just tossed on your doorstep, basically. Yeah, so a lot of these guys come to me because they were abandoned and or uh, left somewhere. What's the best reptile, if somebody wants a bird or a reptile, as opposed to a puppy or a kitten that folks can get? Probably a bearded dragon would be your best bet. How come? Um, because they are just, they're um, very personable. You can work with them and they're also like, you know, scale dogs, scaly dogs. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. well, you, do you actually like play fetch and well, stuff? Well, no, not them? fetch, oh, but well, I mean, okay. they could be calm like a dog and <laughs> you could carry them around. All right, so uh, back to the San Antonio Reptile Show. How many folks, who, what, when, where? And um, so I don't know how many vendors he's going to have, um, but uh, usually there's 30 to 50 vendors, uh, all reptiles, spiders, snakes, all that kind of stuff. So um, we'll be doing a lot of educational and a lot of them will be up for adoption and sale. So Okay, and yeah. folks would like to help you out because you have how many different animals? Uh, roughly between 30 to 50 at a time. And yeah. you also come to schools though with, for education? I do, right? yeah. I do schools, I do expos, I do PetSmart sometimes also um, has me out doing education on these guys. So. Okay. All right. Well, very good. Well, if you'd like more information about, you can learn more about Fletcher Reptile and Bird Rescue at the San Antonio Reptile Show. Again, it's at the Hilton Garden in San Antonio in Live Oak, and it's happening March 9th and 10th. And of course, for more information, go to salive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. I see a little personality in that tourist. <laughs> she does. She does. definitely does. Thank you, Holly. Hey, tomorrow on SA Live, our lunch is going to be schmied all over us. We look at the smoking hot menu of a local wood-fired bagel shop serving superior sandwiches, spectacular schmies, and of course, beyond belief bagels. But first, let me take a selfie. It's a 20,000 square foot gallery featuring immersive and interactive installations. That needs to be on your bucket list. Seriously, it's all tomorrow at 1 right here on SA Live. All right, earlier we asked you, how do you eat your Oreo? Scan that QR code and weigh in. Ooh. From Chili. Without all the cream, okay, yeah. And I just like that. eat the okay. cookie. Get the Oreo and ice cream oh, with whipped cream, yes. That is solid, Bertie. Break it up on the ice cream. Mm -hmm. That's always good to do, too. There, yes, I like know. a little Oreo crumble. I like Don't that. Don't they make that ice cream? Is it I Oreo think, ice cream? Yeah.